it is a known fact that our climate is changing. Now, ever since industrialism really took off in the 1800s, the CO2 emissions in our atmosphere have exploded. We have CO2 emissions that are close to 500 parts per million in our atmosphere, which is allowing heat from the sun to stay trapped longer in our atmosphere. But the Earth has this cooling mechanism which can still save us and save our planet from an immense climate change. And this mechanism is what we call our built-in thermostat, which is the weathering of carbon dioxide of uh, calcium carbonate, which is characterized by the synthesis reaction, carbon dioxide, CO2, plus anorandrothite, which is with the molecular equation of CaAl2SiO8 plus water, H2O, yields calcium carbonate and the mineral cholanite, which is commonly known as clay. Now the reaction I just described is, a is actually a series of reactions. Now, the first one, we have carbon dioxide plus water yields H plus plus CO3, HCO3 minus. As you can see, the yielding products are the products of the unstable uh, carbonic acid, which we all know cannot by itself be stable. Now our next reaction is our anorthite CaAl2 plus SiO SiO8 plus our two hydrogen ions and a water yields a calcium ion and our mineral colonite. Now our third equation is a calcium ion plus our two unstable HCO3 minus ion which yields carbon dioxide and calcium carbonate which is the main thing in this reaction and so we cross off things that are congruent on both sides we have two carbon dioxides we have two hydrogen ions, two, two calcium ions, and our unstable calcium or unstable carbonic acid product of HCO3 minus. And when everything is said and done, we have three H2O plus CO2 and our anorthite CaAl2SiO8 yielding calcium carbonate CaCO3 and colonite Al2SiO5 O4 OH4 Of the materials that are truly necessary in this reaction, we have carbon dioxide, which is obviously a gas, which can be f produced from fossil fuels or volcanic eruptions. And we have water, water, either in the form of vapor through clouds or even liquid water in the ocean. And we have granite, also called anorthite which is just your standard ground sediment. And so, as we will see, all of this put together through a series of chemical reactions produces calcium carbonate, or limestone as we know it, as well as coalinite, which is the byproduct as well. So, 
So in this reaction, we have carbon dioxide, which is released by, let's say, fossil fuel burning or volcanic eruptions over millions of years. So this carbon dioxide is released into the atmosphere, and it reacts with water vapor from clouds, and it produces carbonic acid. And this acid reacts with granite on the earth, or uh, anorthite, as I mentioned earlier. And this weathering reaction produces calcium carbonate. And so overall what's happening is that carbon dioxide is being removed from the atmosphere and being utilized to produce a stone in the Earth's surface. And so what this does is it actually removes the greenhouse gas carbon dioxide and over time can maintain the temperature of our planet. So I guess what I want to say is the reason why this reaction is so important is because by removing the carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, this reaction essentially minimizes to some extent the greenhouse gases and thus the greenhouse effect in our atmosphere. And historically proven, this is the reason why Earth is habitable for life. And so, as uh, Dr. Schrag from Harvard University stated, this is probably one of the most important chemical reactions on the face of the planet because it is one of the key components that really determines that life can exist. And so, I guess that's its beneficial, its beneficiality because we're here because of it. And... I guess the general evidence today for this reaction being so important or lack thereof is because we are bombarding the atmosphere with so much excess CO2 that it just can't keep up with the buildup of carbon dioxide and as a result we're experiencing severe climate change and it's gonna catch up pretty quickly and we're beginning to see the results now because the carbon dioxide is building up and it's not being able to be processed fast enough by the earth into calcium carbonate. And people really don't understand this. They, they know that the carbon dioxide they're putting into the air is bad, but in such, such a mass production of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, people don't realize that we have billions and billions of tons that this cycle just can't process and we're going to suffer for it. And so, in this reaction, what people need to understand is that pretty soon it could potentially fail us and we need to raise awareness about the importance of this reaction the importance of the buildup of ca carbon dioxide in the atmosphere and what we can do to reduce or to reduce the effects i should say because as of it as of now regardless the calcium or the ca carbon dioxide buildup in the atmosphere will break 500 parts per million and it's all up to us to keep it right at that level and not let it get out of control. And with that, we can control the effects. We can't necessarily control the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, but we can control the effects. And in tens of thousands of years, it could essentially mean life or death for life on planet Earth. And